What is going on members of the Shy Guy Squad? My name is Dan, otherwise known as Donaghy, and welcome to the first battle of the NPL Miners Tryout Tournament against Dokes and his Dendemil de Denes, which as you can see now on the right right now, consists of Mega Medicham, Mamoswine, Thunderous Eye, Nihilego, Zerkatree, Galvantula, Cresselia, and Bisharp, where Zerkatree and Cresselia are Z eligible mons, meaning that they can hold any Z crystal but only for offensive moves. And as you guys know, if you saw the draft analysis on uh, a couple days ago, maybe like closer to a week, I'm not quite sure how long it was now, but my draft consists of Celesteela, Garchomp, Mega Gardevoir, uh, Tornadus T, Rotom Heat, uh, Starmie Breloom, and Gengar, where Gengar and Garchomp are my Z eligible mons. But with that being said, let's go have a look at the team before we dive into the battle against my man, Dokes. This large area space means I'm going to cut it out. Remind myself that I'm going to cut this part out until I start talking about uh, God of War. <sighs> Whew, that tasted good. So, starting off the team, we have Gardevoir. Mega Gardevoir Cosmina is back. Nice and shiny, looking good. But that's not the point. Also, before we really dive into the team, I want to give a huge shout out to Aster J. He helped me team build for this uh, tryout tournament. So, huge shout out to him. And also, check out Dokes and Aster. Links will be in the description. But with that being said, let's talk about this. So, Gardevoir here has Hyper Voice Taunt Protect, Calm Mind. It's a physical defensive variant with enough speed to outspeed Adam and Bishar because I don't see Jolly as an effective set against me as my team outspeeds. Everything outspeeds it, I'm pretty sure, except for like Breloom maybe. And even so, that thing has priority that like, destroys Bisharp, so I see Adamant if it even shows up. So I have Hyper Voice, Taunt, Protect, and Calm Mind. Calm Mind I can just set up on the likes of Cresselia. So I can just, you know, continuously get stronger, and then at plus two, I can do like 40% to Nihilego, so no big deal over there. Taunt is to prevent uh, Cresselia from, do, from doing stuff, and potentially, like, if I get it on a switch, and then Gale eventually I can set up sticky webs. Protect is mainly for scouting. If there's, like, a scarf or something that I figure out, I can use guard, guard Ward to figure out what I want to lock themselves into, if I want to make an appropriate switch, or if they need to switch out over predicting. And like I mentioned, Calm Mind for set up. But that is essentially the guard part here. We're 144 HP, 252 defense with the bold nature, a speed to outspeed Bisharp, and the last remaining four in uh, special attack. So that's Guard of War this match. Next up is Gengar, my Metsy, my good old old mascot from way back when, holding the black sludge for some nice recovery, shadow ball, focus blast, hidden power ground, and substitute. Substitute is only to play with Bisharp's sucker punches. Hidden power ground is there for Bisharp and Nihilego as well as Zerkatry. Focus blast is for Mamoswine and uh, Bisharp. And then we have shadow ball to hit everything else like pretty strong and then, you know, I also have hidden power ground to not mess with accuracy and stuff, so you know that. Pretty simple set right here. Enough speed to outspeed a Galvantula. Um, max special attack in the last 16 into HP. Next up, we got Cory the Starmie uh, with 32 HP max. Uh, enough speed to outspeed Thunderous even after Sticky Webs because I am a choice Scarf Starmie with. Um, Nice and one uh, max special attack analytic with a rapid spin hydro pump toxic and ice beam and toxic is only there if I figure out that Cresselia is his switch into my star me then I can go choice scarf toxic and get out of there again so that is the plan with my star me this week and hydro pump hits hard and ice beam is for the thunderous because it's a flying and stuff so I have super effective coverage for it and if like hydro pump is just out of range then uh, I will have ice beam to pick it up. So that is Starmie real quick like next up we have Tornadus Therian which is a walk and very physically offensive one with enough speed to outspeed Galvantula because I'm not staying in on Thunderous regardless with 104 HP max H uh, max attack and the speed like I mentioned with taunt U-turn knockoff and acrobatics taunt is to prevent sticky webs U-turn is to just pivot around and uh, uh, abuse my regenerator ability sorry I'm a bit my voice, I need to calm down a little bit, breathe between my sentences, and stuff like that. Knockoff is for item removal, and acrobatics is like 
a good stab and then if my knock walking berry gets used which it will or it will get knocked off I will have a base 110 acrobatics just in line of sight and that shit destroys Mega Medicham ah bruh next up we have a specially defensive Rotom Heat which I've named here Jazz Sands but in the battle it was named that hotness because that was the name I had for before and then I talked to someone who had a good name for it because you know when Rotom is in the game he like waves this in like that Jazz Hand style so yeah Jazz Hands the Rotom Heat with leftovers uh, overheat toxic volt switch and rest like I said toxic is going to be pretty huge against dokes because he has the likes of Cresselia he has like the Mamoswine and stuff as well I've overheat for that but thick fat you know weakens the power of fire type moves volt switch for pivot and rest for keeping myself alive because his special attackers and electric types are very scary against my team like Galvantula, Zerka Tree, Thunderous, and even Nihilego to a certain point. Like if it locks, if it goes for like a poison type move, then Rotom takes it pretty easily. If it's a rock type move, I can take it. Not well, but I can take it. So there's that. And finally, we have the Steel type God of uh, Cat Funt, the Celesteela. Leftovers more so physically defensive, but a little bit of special bulk as well to be able to potentially take a hit from those uh, pesky electric types there. With max HP, four attack and the moves Leap Seed, Heavy Slam, Rock Slide, and Protect. Leap Seed is literally just I can stall on anything. I can get Toxics and stuff so I can deal with like Crest again. Heavy Slam because this thing weighs in at a solid 2,404.4 pounds or on uh, 999.9 kilograms so basically a ton. And uh, Rock Slide is there for the likes of Thunderous and Galvantula if I predict them to switch in on me. For example I can hit them hard and then get out of there and Protect for scouting as well as keeping my recovery up. If I have something leaf seeded, I have leftovers leaf seed recovery and then I can protect and get that round too. So that is that for that. But I'm gonna jump over to the battle here. Oh. Oh. So we're just gonna quickly jump over to the battle here against my man Dokes with his Mega Meta Gem, Galvantula, Mammal Swine, Thunderous Eye, <laughs> Nehilego, and Bisharp. And you guys saw my team from the team builder. I also forgot to mention, but I, I'm sure I will do it anyways, I left a timestamp and stuff in description and on the screen and stuff, so yeah, derp me. But yeah, let's just get into this and see how it went. So I lead off with Torn as he leads off with Bisharp. And now lead Bisharp kind of surprised me a bit, but he went for Choice Scarf, so that was uh, a bit interesting as I just go for a U-turn to get out of there. And um, I go into my quarry, the Starmie, because that's my Scarf Starmie, I can just knock out this Bisharp and Bisharp is out of there. So next up comes the Galvantula and I don't want to I don't want to take the electric type move in case he goes for it or the bug type move for that matter. So I just go into my specially defensive Rotom Heat as he sets up the sticky webs, follow it up with the Thunder which does nothing to my Rotom and I just toss off a toxic cuz in the on the off chance he went into Mammoth Swine or something like that. So this turn I'm going to go for the Volt Switch but as he switches into the Nihilego, that's another turn I'm thinking about. But I'm going to Volt Switch out of here and go into my Celesteela because it kind of deals with this thing pretty well. So I just go for Rock Slide here expecting the one of his two electric types to come in but I got that prediction wrong. As he goes for a Power Gem revealing that he is Life Orb and then I Heavy Slam take him out and get myself a nice and based boost in the defensive so I can take on Mega Metacham a little bit better now. But he sends in his Galvantula and I'm just going to click Protect you know see if he wanted what he wanted to do. As he goes into Mega Metacham, so I'm thinking, okay, it's cool. You're in with Mega Metacham now. I can, I can take you on. And then he goes into his Thunderous, and I go for a Heavy Slam, which does 34%, nice and good damage. Now I'm gonna go for Protect again to scout out what he wants to do, and he switches back into Metacham. So this was a, an array of plays that was kind of weird for me. Uh, I was like a little bit unsure, like what's going on here. So he goes for a high jump kick here, and Jesus Christ. That did so much damage. But I get my lead seed up and stuff like that. So now I'm back at 50. I can take another high jump kick. And I'm just going to click protect again. Because I want my leftovers. And I wanted that uh, extra lead seed recovery as well. But uh. Eh. So I go for another protect. Because I want my recovery back. So I'm back at like 60% or something. With my Celesteela now. And then I'm going to swap out into my. Uh, I think I went into my Rotom here. Yeah, my especially defensive Rotom as he goes for taunt because he didn't want my Celesteela to uh, <laughs> protect anymore so he's gonna swap out here go into his Mammal Swine and I'm gonna go for a Volt Switch and that didn't work out for me but uh, I think Rotom has done his job 
as my Mandokes here. He goes for knockoff, revealing another life orb on his team, and I'm just gonna drop an overheat to do as much as I can before my Rotom goes down. My taunt ends those, I could have had a chance to rest, but uh, <laughs> that ain't happening. So he's gonna knock out my Rotom here, very unfortunate, but that hotness did work. Mad work. And he put Mamoswine in range of Ice Beams, I didn't have to risk accuracy, and by that, Mamoswine is out of here. He's gone, capiche, dead. So I'm gonna go in and uh, go into my Gardevoir here. I was almost about to mention something, but from another game. Um, I go, uh, you get paralyzed from Thunder, of course, why not? 91% accurate and 30% chance to paralyze or something like that. So I get paralyzed, but I take another Thunder with uh, from 41%, and I Hyper Voice, and that Spider is gone. So if I ever got the chance to get away with, the, with these hazards, they'd be gone now. But Thunderous goes for a nice and solid uh, Thunderbolt. He's almost back at full. It's like, ah, uh, that's not fun. But I send in my Starmie here, which I still outspeed, and I go for Hydro Pump. The 66% of this uh, Thunderous Ice Beam didn't do much more, if I remember correctly. Um, but yeah, so he takes that, and I'm going to switch into my Gengar now. It was a misplay for me clicking Hydro Pump, though. I should have clicked Ice Beam. But I switch into Gengar here, as he goes for Thunder Wave. So I was a bit surprised by this play, but I go for the Shadow Ball and just knock him out, which is nice for me. Now in comes the Mega Medicham, which is terrifying by the way. Mitzi's just going to catch that <laughs> get destroyed real quick. And then I'm going to send in my Tornadus, which has the Acrobatics and my uh, Barry, which has been consumed. He does not get a Crit Bullet Punch, luckily for me. I go for the Acrobatics, and I take this game in a 2-0 victory. So game 1, and we're up 1-2, or we're up 1-0, uh, plus 2 differential. That's what it's like. So it's looking good for us. Um, nice and good game to dokes be sure to check him out link in the description as well as aster link will be in the description for him as well and with that being said thank you all for watching have a beautiful day and i hope to see you guys in the next one